Hi everyone, Paul here with PTZ Optics. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add sources into Hive. Let's take a look at the interface. The great thing about Hive is it can be used in any web browser. Uh, you can also download Hive in a Windows or Mac app as well. And it's very easy to add sources to your Hive platform. One way to add sources is you can add PTZ Optics, Move SE, and Move 4K cameras directly into Hive. And the other way is to have the software search your local area network for all NDI, OnVIF, or RTSP cameras and add them directly in. So on the left-hand side of the interface is where all of your sources will be found. You have two tabs, one for your video sources and one for your audio sources. Video sources will come in generally over the network, over NDI, RTSP, or OnVIF, but you can bring in USB cameras as well, or any camera connected to your computer via a PCIe card, for example. And then audio sources as well. Uh, we can add those in by clicking these buttons here. Let's start by adding a video source. I'm gonna hit the plus button here. And when I click that plus button, it's going to bring up our add video source area. Now, the first thing it's gonna do is it's gonna automatically search for devices on your network. This will be all the sources on the same local area network as the software that's running. Um, if you're in the cloud, this will be, you know, all either all the cameras connected to your studio or all the cameras that is accessible via the agent software running on a local computer. Now we found 18 sources here. We've got three of them already connected. I'm going to go ahead and pick one. Now, if for some reason it's not showing up in this list, you can manually configure RTSP sources using this button down here as well. All right, so this is actually our ceiling camera here. So let's pull this in. And I know that this is a, now that this part here is where we choose the manufacturer. And we support over 400 camera drivers. And I know that this camera here is a PTZ Optics 12X Move 4K. And I could just test it really quickly just to make sure. Okay, we've got control over it and I can save and finish. So this will add the camera source to our Hive system. And the first thing you might wanna do is go ahead and just give it a custom name. So we'll go in here and I'll put Move 4K 12X. This is my ceiling camera. Now, I have full control over this camera at this point, so I can kinda move it around a little. I can control it. Uh, this is a ceiling camera, so it's a little disorienting because it's upside down, but it's very easy to control. I can flip these controls very easily right here in our menu. Um, so there's a lot of options for controlling the camera. In fact, all of the options for controlling the camera are here. So when you're adding cameras to Hive, uh, there's a special concept that we've coined called Hive Linked. And PTZ Optics Move SE and Move 4K cameras are Hive linked. That means we can link them directly to Hive in the cloud without having to run the free Hive agent software on a computer. So if you'd like to run to work with Ada, Aver, BirdDog, or any of the 400 different cameras that we support, we support those with a free Hive software that you can use on any Mac or PC computer to search your local area network and connect them to Hive. The nice thing about PTZ Optics Move SE and Move 4K cameras is that they do not require software on a computer to connect to the cloud. So that means you can do a one-time link between a Move SE or a Move 4K camera to your studio and then send them across the world or across the globe as soon as they get internet access, they will immediately be able to be controlled by you and you can do a full remote production using Hive. 
So Hive Linked is a really true plug and play scenario, but we do support all these different camera brands via our agent software. So just wanted to kind of pull that up that if you would like to have a direct connection without needing software, that really took our engineers a long time to build the Hive linking into the direct camera interface. So two different options for connecting PTZ cameras to Hive. All right, so once you have connected your camera to the system, you should have control over your camera and you'll see video. And if you wanna share control with your audience, in the, one of the next upcoming videos will show how to quickly share control with your co-producers or directors that you're working with, but that will be for our next video. So that is how you quickly and easily can add sources into Hive Studio. We'll see you in the next tutorial.